stop struggling with annoying iPhone or iPad glitches. Hi everyone, I'm Anna from For Real, and today I'll show you how to reset iPhone and iPad without losing data in just a few minutes, specifically by resetting its settings. It's a lifesaver. If you've ever felt that your device is slower than usual, Wi-Fi keeps dropping or some settings just feel off, but you're terrified of losing your photos, contacts, and apps, you're in the right place. Resetting your iPhone or iPad can seem daunting, but it doesn't have to mean losing everything. In the next few minutes, I'm going to walk you through the exact steps to reset all settings on your iPhone or iPad, which often fixes many common problems without touching your personal data. It's a fantastic troubleshooting step. Let's get started. Okay, step one. First, you need to open the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. It's that gray gear icon. Step two. All right, once you're in settings, scroll down a bit and tap on general. This section houses many of the core settings for your device, and it's key for any kind of iOS reset all settings procedure. Step three. Now that we're in general, scroll all the way down to the bottom of this menu. You'll see an option that says transfer or reset iPhone or transfer or reset iPad. Go ahead and tap on that. This is where you'll find options for an iPhone troubleshooting reset. Quick pause. If you're finding this tutorial helpful for your iPhone and iPad reset no data loss concerns so far, please give this video a quick like. It really helps others find it. Okay, back to our reset. Step four. On the transfer or reset screen, you'll see a couple of options. We want to tap on reset at the bottom. Be careful here, we are not choosing erase all content and settings yet as that would delete your data. We're focusing on keeping your data with a settings refresh. Step five. Finally, a menu will pop up from the bottom. From this list, tap on reset all settings. Your iPhone or iPad might ask for your passcode if you have one set. This specific action, reset all settings, is what we're aiming for. It won't delete your apps, photos, or messages, but it will reset things like Wi-Fi passwords, display brightness, notification preferences, and your home screen layout back to their defaults. It's great for an iPhone factory reset keep data type of situation where you only want settings gone. After you confirm, your device will restart. This process can take a few minutes, so be patient. Once it boots back up, your settings will be back to their factory defaults. But all your personal data, your apps, photos, music, contacts, will still be there. You might need to re-enter Wi-Fi passwords and customize some preferences again, but hopefully those pesky issues are gone. And there you have it. You now know exactly how to reset all settings on your iPhone or iPad without losing your precious data. No more needing to fear a full wipe for common glitches. You can now perform this iOS reset all settings to solve many problems quickly and easily. And it's a great step in iPhone troubleshooting. If you found this tutorial useful and want more tips on your iPhone, iPad, or other tech, make sure to hit that subscribe button to For Real and the notification bell so you don't miss out. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you today. And let me know in the comments, what other tasks on your Apple devices do you find tricky? I might cover it in a future video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.